everybody, my name is Asian Psycho, and we're gonna get started on what I think is the 66th chapter of the Exploring the Arsenal series featuring me, Asian Psycho, aka Toast Number 98. This time we'll be taking a look at another melee weapon here called the USMC K Bar. I think it's called the K Bar anyway. And for uh, a little bit of background information, it does cost 800 GP for a day, and it does cost 3920 GP for a week. Now, let's move on directly to the statistics here. The USMC K-Bar is a powerful two-shot uh, melee weapon, which is good because there aren't many uh, two-shot light melee weapons in combat arms that are available for GP. And it deals a straight-up 51 damage, so you, as you can see, it deals a two-shot uh, kill, uh, not only statistically speaking, but also practically speaking. It actually does deal a two-shot kill in-game, even on housers, as you can clearly see, as you will clearly see in the gameplay that, uh, of this video. And the portability is also very good at 85. It's no tracker knife but this is as close as you can get if you only have uh, GP uh, as you can as you'll ever get to the tracker knife so I mean enjoy it while you can um because this is a melee weapon obviously I won't be you know doing this review in the same style as I do with you know other firearms per se so um do please do check the description for things that i might have forgotten to talk about but um yeah let's just talk about the usmc k bar the k bar is a very very good uh, melee weapon let me tell, tell you guys right that right now um before this review, I haven't really, I hadn't really given it a uh, a chance because I used it once when it first came out. But when I saw that it had a rather slow primary attack, I was immediately turned off. Like, oh, this isn't like the other light melee weapons, like the sickle or something like that, where you know it's a, it's a near, it's a near immediate attack. The USMC K bar's primary attack is is kind of delayed in that when you click you actually need to wait like I think like a split second or two like a half a second or a split second uh, for your knife attack to actually register and you know your character actually waves a knife um, it's not immediate like your M9 default knife or your sickle or your tracker uh, and that's one of the uh, downsides to the USMC K bar however in, re in return for that if you actually do manage to get your uh, knife attack in then it'll deal a significant amount of damage in this case it deals a two shot damage or two shot kill damage or I should say two slash go, you know, because it's being a knife, melee knife and all. Um, so, yeah, um, because of that, I, as you can see there, it's kind of like a trade-off here. Uh, the USMZ K-Bar deals more damage, but its rate of fire isn't as fast, you know. You can't really, you know, go around knifing people as fast. So clearly, uh, Nexon intends, this for, uh, intends uh, the K-Bar to be used as a kind of... Like sort of like an accuracy knife. I don't know. That's what I think they do it, and you can definitely see that I'm behaving. I'm treating this as an accuracy knife. I'm not going around, and that's the thing. For some reason, with the USM USMC K bar, so for some reason, I'm treating it like an accuracy knife. What I mean by that is that it's just a term that I just coined. I just you know, brought up on the spot right now. What I mean by that is that unlike other melee weapons where normally I just go around spamming with, the USMC K bar, for some reason, whenever I use a K bar, I, I like to time my attacks. I don't know why. It's just it's just with the K bar. I, I don't real I don't really have a real reason why I do this with just the K bar, you know, because you know I could do this with the Dom Pedro, you know, and it could just be it could just be, you know, just as effective. Uh but with the K bar I time my shots. You'll see me that I'm not just going around randomly just waving my knife around hoping to get a head lucky headshot or something like that. I'm actually aiming my shots and not, you know, going around holding down the left click and hoping that I hit uh, some people. That's not what I do in this case. I actually go around trying to, you know, knight the guys properly and time my attacks so that, you know, I can either get that good headshot in or just make sure that I can actually wound them so I can finish them off this, uh, the second time I hit them. So that's the that's one thing I like about the K bar is that um, I, I treat it as an accuracy knife and uh, it, it kind of helps me train you know uh, so that I can uh, I can do better with other weapons like my Don Pedro or other like God forbid if I get my hands on another tracker knife again um, it'll definitely help me out there but um, the USMC K bar it's it's pretty good on top of that the uh, the secondary attack because it's already a two shot kill anyway um, with this primary attack I don't really see much reason to use the secondary attack but the secondary attack is quite peculiar. It's the same secondary attack animation that you see on the Bowie knife, or the Bowie knife, whatever you want to call it. Um, where, if you guys recall in my Bowie knife review, the when, when your character uh, attacks with the secondary attack on the Bowie knife, you're, it's, it looks like you're flipping the blade and it's slapping them out across the face of the back of the blade. And that's what the USMC K bar does as well. So uh, I suppose Nexon was kind of lazy and they just put in the same animation, the attack animation for the uh, K bar uh, with the, uh, the same 
anything secondary attack from that that the Bowie knife has or the Bowie knife has. But um, yeah, it, it's quite funny because it, it's more hilarious with the K bar because it's like it's it looks like a small knife, and if you do if you kill someone with the secondary attack, it just looks like you're just slapping them across the face with it. So it's pretty hilarious. But for the most part, if you guys want to be really really efficient, then I'm um, just use just stick to using the primary attack, and you should just be fine. I mean, it is uh, it's 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 a straight up two shot kill anyway. So why why not use it right? Unless you know that you know this guy's got a certain amount of health, and you can take him out in one shot if you use a secondary attack, other than the primary attack. In that case, then I suppose the secondary attack it has a, has meaning, but for the most part, just just go around stamp people with the primary attack. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the USMC K bar. It's a fantastic weapon. It's a fantastic melee weapon, and it's probably the closest uh, to a tracker knife as GP users will get because it's a. I mean, think about it. It's a straight up two shot kill, um, and it's very very portable. Um, the USMC K bar is, I believe, the fastest GP uh, or the fastest port or yeah, basically the fastest melee weapon that's available currently for GP. I think all the other ones are like less than 70 or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Like the sickle has a 70 portability, GI Shovel has 60, uh, 70 portability, um, I think the uh, Tomahawk like, has like 69 or something like that, and yeah, I mean, the K-Bar, it's, it's a really effective melee weapon, and you can definitely go around doing a lot of damage um, if, if, you know, if people are careless, and yeah, and, and you can definitely hold on your own and melee only, provided that you can actually train yourself uh, enough to, you know, be able to handle the uh, USMC K-Bar without any trouble. So anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching, and um, this has been the review on the USMC K-Bar. If you guys have not tried it out and you guys are huge melee uh, melee only fans, then um, I suggest you just try buying it, because, you know I mean, you never know. I mean, I highly enjoy using the K-Bar, even though I'm pretty content with the Don Pedro. K-Bar really kicks some serious ass, and um, if, if those Tracker and Don Pedro shifter noobs um, aren't careful, the K-Bar can fu really fuck them up. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.